Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about a very cool SAS and SCSS compiler for Visual Studio Code that real timely compile your code and do the live browser reload for you. Ready? Let's check it out. Live SAS compiler is a Visual Studio Code extension created by Ritvik Day. If you are using SCSS or a SAS and VS Code to write CSS, this extension is a must. It features live SCSS compile when you save it, customizable CSS output location to anywhere you want, live reload to browsers immediately when the new CSS is generated, and a shortcut buttons on VS Code status bar for quick control. The installation is very simple. Open the extension tab on VS Code and search Live SAS and click Install. This will automatically install Live Server extension as well, which is required for Live Browser Reload feature. Once completed, close and reopen the VS Code and you are good to go. Now let's try using it together. Here's the code from previous tutorial. Let's open the SCSS file. And now to start the live compile mode, just click Watch SAS at the bottom status bar. Now let's edit something on the file and save. You will see that the status was changed to success, and the CSS output was generated along with the map file. You can change the output location and turn off the map file generation in the setting by overriding the JSON file. For example, I'm going to have all generated CSS file goes to the CSS folder by overriding the save path like this. Slash means the project root folder. If the path doesn't exist, it will create one for you. Now the important note is that you need to open the file in Visual Studio Code in project or folder mode. What I did previously was opening a single file from the Windows Explorer, so there is no root folder. The easiest indicator is to look at the color of the status bar. Purple means a single file mode, blue means folder or project mode. Let's close the file and open the folder mode. Now the status bar has changed to blue. Just click Watch SAS button. You see that the generated CSS file is now in the folder. Now let's try Live Browser Reload feature. All you have to do is to click Go Live button next to the Watch SAS button on the status bar. Again, you will need to be in a folder mode or this button will be hidden. It will open your site with your default web browser. I'll try changing the value of the font site variable and save the SCSS file. The browser will now reload itself automatically every time you save the file. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope this extension will help boost up your productivity in some way. If you love this video, like or subscribe to stay tuned with us for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.